students please note down the pdf file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture please download your notes dear students today we will discuss electrical and biochemical dear students electrical and biochemical changes in muscle contraction in our last lecture we have discussed physical changes in muscle contraction and in today's lecture we will cover electrical and biochemical changes in muscle contraction these electrical and biochemical changes in muscle contraction were studied by a hungarian biochemist albert saint georgi in 1942 dear students this is the diagram of neuromotor junction or it is neuromuscular junction means it is a junction between motor neuron and motor and plate this motor and plate it is the part of sarcolemma that lies beneath this motor neuron dear students this terminal part of motor neuron having small vesicles synaptic vesicles and these vesicles are filled with neurotransmitters some chemicals like acetylcholine in response of this stimulus these synaptic vesicles start to release these neurotransmitters and these neurotransmitters like acetylcholine are transferred here in this cavity it is synaptic cleft here in this synaptic cleft or cavity an enzyme that is choline esterase and this enzyme converts acetylcholine which is a neurotransmitter and this acetylcholine in presence of this enzyme choline esterase it is broken into acetate plus choline dear students these products acetate plus choline from this synaptic cleft which re enter in this terminal part to produce to resynthesize neurotransmitters acetylcholine but this is this is stimulates this membrane this post synaptic membrane it means this sarcolemma and this sarcolemma becomes polarized the students polarized generally this is the diagram which shows conduction of action potential in normal conditions i mean resting conditions when a muscle fiber at rest in normal conditions sodium ions positive charge present outside the sarcolemma and inside the membrane in this sarcoplasm negative charge is present inside it means a potential gradient develops on the membrane on this sarcolemma a potential gradient is present in resting state at resting potential this difference is negative 90 millivolt and dear students when this membrane in response of this given impulse the sarcolemma becomes depolarized in normal conditions this membrane is polarized due to presence of this ionic gradient and that ionic gradient is maintained by sodium potassium active pump normal conditions resting more concentration of sodium ions outside and dear students more concentration of potassium ions inside at this time the resting potential is minus 90 millivolt but when this membrane this sarcolemma becomes polarized dear students in response of a given stimulus the polarity becomes reversed the membrane becomes depolarized at this time sodium ions diffuse more inside and potassium ions diffuse outside 
एज ए रिजल्ट द पॉलिटी इज चेंज्ड डियर स्टूडेंट सोडियम आइंस डिफ्यूज इन एंड पोटेशियम आइंस डिफ्यूज आउट सो दैट द पॉलिटी बिकम्स नेगेटिव चार्ज आउटसाइड एंड पॉजिटिव चार्ज इन साइड दिस इज एक्शन पोटेंशियल द मेम्रेन बिकम्स डी पोलराइज दिस टाइम ए वेव ऑफ एक्साइटेशन ए वेव ऑफ डी पोलराइजेशन प्रोपेकेट ओवर दिस सार्कोलिमा एंड डियर स्टूडेंट इट इज रिकॉर्डेड बाई एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड दैट इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज आइन थो वन स्ट्रिंग गैलवेनोमीटर और इट इज कैथोड ओसिलोग्राफ दिस टाइम इन दिस एक्शन पोटेंशियल द मेम्रेन पॉलिटी बिकम्स पॉजिटिव इट इज पॉजिटिव फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी मिली वॉल्ट डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एक्शन पोटेंशियल दीज आर द इलेक्ट्रिकल चेंजेस इन मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन एज इन रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ दिस एक्शन पोटेंशियल the membrane becomes depolarized it means the wave of depolarization propagates over this sarcolemma dear students this is the diagram of sarcolemma on this sarcolemma the wave of depolarization that propagates and through this t tubule transverse tubules this wave of depolarization finally enters in the sarcoplasmic reticulum it stimulates the L tubules, the longitudinal tubules of sarcoplasmic reticulum, and this wave of depolarization which stimulates these L tubules, longitudinal tubules of sarcoplasmic reticulum, which start to release these L tubules start to release calcium ions. It means in muscle contraction, calcium ions these are released from. the l tubules of sr and these calcium ions are simply diffused in the sarcoplasm these calcium ions play an important role in muscle contraction here these calcium ions bind the troponin molecules and the binding of calcium ions with troponin it alters the shape and position of tropomyosin molecules and these tropomyosin molecules enter in the deep grooves of f actin dear students in presence of calcium ions and these calcium ions released from the l tubules of sr these calcium ions bind this troponin molecule and binding of calcium and troponin it alters the shape and position of tropomyosin and these tropomyosin molecules enter in the deep grooves of f actin as a result the active sites of thin myofilaments are exposed as a result due to exposure of active sites these myosin molecules these thick myofilament heads interact with actin molecules to produce actomyosin molecules the bundles dear students in response of these calcium ions and the alteration of shape and position of tropomyosin and exposure of active site these myosin heads project laterally towards the f actin of thin myofilaments and each head of myosin and this head contains an atp h enzyme and dear student that atp h enzyme of myosin head it hydrolyzes one atp molecule in presence of this myosin atp is and calcium and magnesium ions this atp gets hydrolyzed into adp plus pi plus energy 
the energy is so released it causes activation of energization of the myosin heads which produce cross braces and these cross braces move towards the FAT dear students of thin myofilaments as a result due to the movements of these cross braces the actin or thin myofilament slide over the thick myofilaments that's why this mechanism is named walk along mechanism dear students this is sliding filament theory the myosin head or cross bridges energized cross bridges which move and it causes the sliding of thin myofilaments over thick myofilaments and dear students during resting time when muscles are relaxed at that time the calcium ions means tropomyosin and calcium ions become free and these free calcium ions re-enter in the l tubules of sarcoplasmic reticulum and these calcium ions re-enter by an active transport and this active transport involves conversion of ATP molecule into ADP plus PI as well as in muscle relaxation that involves that causes inhibition of ectomyosin bundles dear students this is all about electrical and biochemical changes in muscle contraction Dear students, note down, this is the diagram of neuromotor junction, which involves the terminal part of this motor neuron. And this is the area of sarcolemma that is motor and plate. It is a part of sarcolemma that lies beneath this neuromotor motor neuron. And this neuromotor junction in which a cavity is there, in that cavity, cholinesterase is present and that cholinesterase, it converts acetylcholine that is a neurotransmitter into acetate plus choline and these products re-enter in these terminal knobs to resynthesize neurotransmitters. Due to this chemical change, this sarcolemma becomes depolarized. In normal conditions, it it is polarized and the polarity resting potential is minus 90 millivolt but yes students when the membrane becomes depolarized at that time a wave of excitation and that is named action potential at this time the polarity becomes positive 45 to 50 milliwatts in response of this depolarization of sarcolemma the wave enters through this T tubule and stimulates the L tubules of sarcoplasmic reticulum. As a result, calcium ions start to diffuse. And these calcium ions bind the troponin molecule. And binding of calcium with troponin molecule that alters the shape and position of tropomyosin. As a result, these tropomyosin enter in the grooves of FAT. Dear students, and this change in shape of tropomyosin as well as position of tropomyosin exposes the active sites of thin myofilaments. It causes binding of myosin hair. And this myosin head containing ATPase enzyme. That myosin ATPase in presence of calcium and magnesium, it hydrolyzes ATP molecule. And that ATP molecule hydrolysis, it produces energy. This energy, it causes energization of these myosin 
क्रॉस ब्रेजेस एज ए रिजल्ट द मायोसिन हेड और एनर्जाइज क्रॉस ब्रेस विच मूव टूवर्ड्स द एफेक्टिव एंड इट रिजल्ट मूवमेंट ऑफ थिन मायोफिलामेंट्स विच स्लाइड ओवर द थिक मायोफिलामेंट्स दैट्स वाई द मैकेनिज्म इज स्लाइडिंग फिलामेंट थ्योरी और डी एस स्टूडेंट्स इट इज वॉक अलॉन्ग मैकेनिज्म ऑफ मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन डी एस स्टूडेंट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फिजिकल चेंजेस इलेक्ट्रिकल चेंजेस एंड बायोकेमिकल चेंजेस इन मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन थैंक यू